Hey guys, it's Heather here from Brick House Vintage, and today we're going to do a quick five minute flip with this basket I got from the Goodwill. It was $2.99, and you can see it's kind of a yellowish color. We're going to stain this to make it more vintage looking, and we're just going to use this. It's called SFO Stain and Finishing Oil from Fusion Mineral Paints, and it is in the color Driftwood. So let's get going. All right. So we are going to try this two ways. We're going to first start with this paintbrush and try to paint the stain and finishing oil on. And then if we need to, we'll use um, blue shop towels to get in the cracks. we're good all right so I have my basket and it has been sitting drying with the stain and finishing oil on it and I think it's been sitting out here for about a week in the garage just drying it was probably dry a little bit before that but this is the first I've had to get back to it to work on it again and it actually looks pretty great the way it is I like the the um, depth that the stain and finishing oil gave it it has a lot more character and it looks a lot more aged, but I think I'm gonna do one more step. We're gonna try it and see what we think. Um, so I'm gonna bring it up close and let you see how it looks right now. You can see how the stain and finishing oil got darker in some areas, lighter in others, and it just kind of gives it like a, a patina and makes it look more of a vintage basket. But I'm gonna put a little bit of white paint on it and we're gonna see how that looks. Just had a little bit more depth and um, let's try it out, see what we think. So I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint. I just have a little bit in the cap here. I don't want a lot of paint on it. We're gonna use Casement. Um, it's a very white, white. And I'm gonna dab a little bit off here on my cloth. And then we're just gonna take the basket and lightly brush over some areas here just to give it a little bit more depth. And like I said, there's not much paint on my brush at all. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. So don't put a lot on or else you're just gonna paint the basket. But this will just kind of highlight some of the, the weave of the basket. I think it's done. All right, guys, here's the finished product. You can see the different colors there on the weave. You have the dark of the stain, the yellowy undertones that are shining through just a little bit from the original basket, and then some of that white paint. I'm really digging it. I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm excited to let it dry and go in and take some pictures of it so you can see what I do with this basket then. But if you try this project, make sure you find us on Facebook and Instagram. And go ahead and tag us because I'd love to see what your baskets turn out looking like. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And we hope to see you next time. Bye.